my hair tie broke, so I have to be hairy guy during this. The bottom engine. I have probably seven or eight videos dedicated so far to the bottom engine. More coming. It's an extremely important exercise. Extremely important for rounding out the <laughs> and everything drumming. So check this out. Here's the bottom engine. And what's happening there is my right hand and my left foot are hitting on the one. One. And my left hand and my right foot are hitting on the ands. If, if we're thinking eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Okay? Or if we're thinking one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, my right hand and my left foot are hitting on the one and two and three and four and. And my left hand and my right foot are going e, a, e, a, e, a, e, a. All right? So here it is. A great exercise for it is this, okay? I was giving a lesson yesterday, I was teaching. My main man, Derek P, out in California. Derek P, out in California, who resembles photographs of my wife's father when he was a younger man. Check this out. I had to devise this on the spot because there were two things happening. He's a righty, okay? So, or he's a lefty. So everything sort of switched out. So my brain was kind of going like, like that. And two, he was, ha as most problem people have the problem with, with the bottom engine, is lining up their, let's just say, their bass drum foot with their snare hand, hitting at the same time. In our case, is a right-handed person, a right leg and left hand, hitting simultaneously. Okay? So here's a trillion dollar exercise that I thought up on the spot, because I was, it, it's a long story. So check this out. So what I want you to do is just go like this. So here, here's your my right arm and my right left arm, and I'm going. I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute my bass drum foot. In my case, since I'm a right-handed drummer, my right leg for the left hand. Okay, so. like that is the goal but really what happens here while wow, my hair is getting long what happens here though is that so much when we're, when we're learning stuff we're not so much sometimes acquiring the new skill as much as we're also trying to to shed off something that just doesn't feel right to a lot of people and and Derek said this yesterday during the lesson that just doesn't feel right to have your you know your snare hand your bass drum hand hit at the same time happen that often unless you're like you know what I mean like the, the you know what I mean and that's true so here is the exercise simple but I know it has to be effective I've never taught this to anybody before I was trying to think of a good sort of I wanted to put it to music but then just because he was having such an acute hard time with it, I, there it is, ready? And in your mind, think you're, in your mind, think to yourself, one and two and three and four and, because what's happening is, is you're alternating between, in my case, my left hand and my right foot, substituting each other out like tag teaming each other as the and in the eighth note situation. One and, two and, three and, four and, right? Okay, so if I count that, one and, two and, three and, four and, one and, two and, three and, four and, one and, Okay, and hopefully eventually when you get the speed built up there, because in and of itself, you know, going. It's actually very something you hear Bonham doing Moby Dick sometimes. But 
of course, the Bonham engine has the moniker Bonham on it, doesn't it? So there you go. Okay? So remember, with the Bonham engine, we're just alternating. We're going right, left, right, left, right, left with our hands. One and two and three and four and. But our feet are doing one and two and three and four and simultaneously in the opposite direction. Okay? So we're kind of going... It's almost like a, from the drumming point of view, is counterclockwise motion. We're going right to left, left to right, right, but simultaneously. So let's try it real open into closed. Here we go. See what I gotta do. What I wanna do is I gotta be careful there because I did the Bonham engine for like 20 minutes a few months ago and my body's still recovering from that. I hope this is helpful to you though, to anybody watching. The Bonham engine, great exercise. I mean, it's great for so much stuff. It's crucial for, mo for, for four sticks. Uh, <laughs> One floor time here. That's the Bonham Mansion at its purest, really, right? Um, uh, but, but all through, like in parts of Days Confused, um, in 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 just all kinds of stuff, Moby Dick, and it's just also just a great workout. I know me as a drummer, I'd rather do this for a half an hour. <laughs> Then sit on a pre-core and be like, <laughs> right? The Pelotron or Peloton or Peloton or whatever it is. What we're doing is, is we're, we're the Bonham engine tone. Get your drum set machine delivered to your door. Your band, van pulls up, a drum set comes out, your TV screen pops on, and there's me. Like, hi, everybody, what's happening? We'll do it for an hour and a half. Okay? We won't actually, but you never know. So, um... So that's it. Today is Friday. I want to make more videos dedicated to drum stuff. Real fast, I talked about this in the live chat yesterday. This is an actual white label 24-inch giant beat. 1969-ish. Okay, this is Peisty Bob's Magical Baby. Yeah! Um, nice cymbal. It's wonderful. So I'm going to be making some videos with Bob's original Giant Beats. He dropped off some original Giant Beats as well as some Black Label 2002s. I'll do more compares and contrasts. Um, and also, too, I want to, like I talked about yesterday on the live chat, we need everybody to call up Peisty and demand our original spec Giant Beats. Remember, the reissue Giant Beats that have been floating around for 16 years, since 2005, 2005 they're not the authentic original-shaped Giant Beats. You know, they came out, I didn't cry too much about it, because they really, they sound great. They're essentially 2002s that are lathed like a giant beat. But remember, the original giant beat has a shape, has a bigger cup, a bigger bell. One that you'll happen to see on the 505, the 404, the 2000, okay, the 1000. There are other Peisty lines from the 80s, 70s and 80s, that use the exact same shape, the bigger bell. Remember, when they went to the 2002, they essentially took, like, the giant beat. And we're like, well, one thing we're going to do is we're going to make the bell smaller, okay? They made the bell slightly less tall and also smaller this way, but also slightly more integrated. As opposed, you know what I mean? So, that's it. So, um, you know, let's put that baby up. Here is the 24-inch... Eh, I gotta watch out for my back here. It's a... Eh, sorry. It's an awkward position. So I'll make this... Eh, oh, God, you, all right, there it is. Look at... Oh. All right, so here we go.
So again, I hope that exercise is helpful. Remember, because then the goal becomes the right, you will help your brain to become familiar with both the left hand and your right foot, or in the case of your, if you're a right, a left-handed drummer, your bass drum foot and your snare drum hand becoming acclimated to hitting at the same time. That, that spot, okay? Because you have. And then you can get to the point where you could do stuff like this, like. All right, so let's see what the bass drum you're going. You can actually also then hit the snare at the same time. At the same time as the bass drum for that. That little ghost note. So it comes in handy when you want to shore your left hand and your right foot up simultaneously, apart from even the bottom engine. Okay? So that's it. More videos on the way. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. More videos coming. Please hit the bell, too. Next to the subscribe button, there's like a bell thingy. You got to hit that to get notified of stuff. So remember, I have the live chats on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Um, don't forget, I have the Bonzolium drumsticks available, Bonzolium 2A. Shoot me an email at Bonzolium at gmail.com. Bonzolium at gmail.com. I still have t-shirts and some coffee mugs left, too. And, of course, don't forget to check out Bon Hemology with George Flutus, who also is in PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin, here on YouTube, with Ivan, Pete, and Ty Vera singing some vocal stuff. It's out of hand. Also, David Ward's Musicians on the Record. You gotta check it out. It is absolutely out of hand. So, thank you for watching this video on this Friday. More videos coming soon. Again, we're getting to the point where I'm gonna start making more videos, okay? Uh, thank you for watching, and stay well.